Okay, so um, I'm just taking my hair like out of the towel. So because I just took a shower and I'm sorry I look really gross because you know that's how I look when I get out of the shower. But um, my hair is wet, like I just got out. So um, what I do is I just keep it like this and then I put two products in my hair. Um, the first product is going to be um, Tresemme Curl Hydration um, Lotion Cream stuff. I got this a while back. It says um, it locks the moisture, giving your hair exactly what it needs before you create curls. So this locks the curls in and helps you keep them in 24 hours, apparently, if I could open this. Okay, and I just put like that much. I don't know if you can see. I don't know if this is blurry. And then I just run it through my hair. And when I get out of the shower, I have like these tangly pieces at the top. Just leave it there for right now. If you have that, I don't, I don't know if I'm the only one who has that, but I do. And then I just run it through my hair and I let it sit there for a second. So while I'm letting it sit, I'm going to tell you guys that I'm dyeing my hair back brown um, sometime this week. So I think I'm going to do a video on it. I know I have a lot of hair dye videos because I tend to dye my hair a lot, but I've been blonde since like for four years now so I'm going back my natural hair color which is brown so yeah I hope it turns out okay and my next video should be my hair turning brown but okay so I use that product and then I take a brush or a comb and I just use this brush it's broken it's gross and I just lightly brush it out and I know this is not good for your hair to brush it wet but I don't own a comb so I just lightly brush my hair and you can see that my roots have grown like a lot so I'm just gonna go back natural I'm tired of blonde and then I just flip my hair over and shake it out and then I'm going to let it dry like all the way before I do the actual curls so I'm gonna let this dry and let, leave it like a little little bit wet where it's like you can feel it a little bit but I'm just gonna let this dry for like two or three hours. It's been two hours and my hair is pretty much completely dry. It's a little damp like at the top, but it'll dry overnight. So what you're gonna need is a headband, of course, because these are headband curls. So I just use this headband from JCPenney's. It's like this flowery, really loose one. It does not make a crease in your hair because I've watched some videos where they use these skinny headbands and it makes a crease in their hair and it doesn't look as good. So I recommend using something that will not create tension on your hair and it's really loose. So um, yeah, I don't recommend the skinny ones or you could tie paper towels together and make a headband that way. Another way is to use one of these lace, like a tie thing, like a scarf or something that you can tie around your head. Um, I got this headband lace thing um, for a couple bucks at Party City when I was like um, like in the 80s or something like that. So you could just always like tie this around your head and make this a headband and then you could tuck your hair in that way. So that's just another alternative. I'll show you what I went ahead and already did is I parted my crown from my head. So I'm going to turn around and show you what that looks like. I parted my crown so where your head gets the most volume you're going to part that away and you're just going to keep everything below down. And then you're going to take your headband and make a kind of bring it down like this. And it might look a little ridiculous, like this looks really, really dumb, but it'll make sense once you start. So it's going to look like this. Starting from the back, okay. So you're going to take all this hair down from the crown and just like flip it over and you're going to want to take a volumizing spray or something that will make your hair volumized and you're going to want to spray it and kind of massage it in. This is optional but I really recommend it. It really makes more volume in your hair. So I have this Tresemme 24 hour body root boosting spray. Um, that creates body but I'm going to use this Curl Goddess Curling Mist. And this really puts volume in my hair. So 
So I'm just going to spray that and massage it into my hair. Just like this. You could always use hairspray as well, which is what I'm probably going to use. So I'm going to use this So Gorgeous Volumizing Shaping Spray. And I'm just going to use that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all this hair that was in my crown and I'm just going to tuck it into the headband in the very front. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing because I can't really see what I'm doing. So you're just going to tuck it in just like that. I hope you can see what it looks like. And then you're just going to part your hair just like that. And I know it looks ridiculous but you can see it's going to create volume right here so it'll make a lot more sense once you do it so put your hair in the front like that and part it where your part is just like that so i'm going to start on this side and show you how to do the headband curls so if you haven't seen a video on it before it's quite simple you just take, and I recommend taking bigger pieces for the bigger the curls, because I do not like tight curls. I think they're gross. So um, since I have shorter hair, it's not going to take that much, but I'm just going to take like a piece like this, and I'm just going to put my finger under the headband and just pull this piece through, just like that. And then I'm just going to blend it in with these other pieces. Then I'm going to grab another piece and incorporate this last piece in your new piece and you're just going to bring this through the headband as well and pull it through and you can see it starts making like that curl so you're going to take another piece and pull it through the headband like that take one piece pull it through the headband and you're gonna do this all the way around and you can see that there's a lot of volume up here and honestly if you use a cute enough headband you could wear this during the day at school and then you can take it out that night and sleep on it and the next day your hair is gonna be curly so I mean you can do this because I think it's a really cute updo honestly so um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my hair This is what it should look like um, if your hair is like short as mine and probably shorter there's gonna be pieces that are gonna stick out and they're not gonna go in the headband all the way in the very back like like this is what it looks like from the back if you could see it but I have some pieces like my bangs right here that stick out I mean you can't really do anything about that but I just recommend taking a curling spray or some hairspray and just whoop, spritzing it on to set it and then you're just gonna sleep on it so I sleep for around eight hours so if you're not gonna sleep on it then I recommend keeping it in for about eight hours eight or nine hours so it just sets and if you feel like your headband's gonna come out then just bobby pin it to your head in like some places which is what I'm gonna do just so it's secure which I don't think it's gonna go anywhere so I'm going to go to sleep and I will see you guys in the morning.
Okay, so this is the finished product. And sorry about my gross morning hair, but this is what it looks like. So there's a lot of volume and I think it looks pretty good. Um, there were some pieces that were still straight because my hair is short. So the pieces would not go under the headband. So I did have to use my straightener to curl it. But other than that, um, each piece, especially like the front, curled really, really well. So I really like how it turned out. So if you guys want any other hair tutorials, then please comment below and I will do them. So I hope you guys like this tutorial and I will see you guys in the next video.